Well, hello, my radio friends. We meet again. <clears throat> now, in this video, I want to touch one last time on the dial for this 38 7, this Philco 38 7. Rather unique, overly designed dial. And this, this, is, uh, this is essentially part two. I won't go into great detail how it operates and whatnot back here. I did that in a previous video. In this video, I just wish to touch on. Now that it's all complete, the dial mechanism's all complete, operating like it should, I wish to touch on it's just that, it's operation. It, uh, this knob is rather a, a strange little creature, and uh, let's, uh, let's touch on the, uh, the operation of it, shall we? First and foremost, this knob is actually a three-position switch, and the, uh, this moves in and out. Fully retracted, fully pulled out toward the operator, one traverses across the dial, what they call speed dial, with no sound whatsoever. In the intermediate position, if one was to push this knob shaft in slightly, you come to the intermediate position and one could tune across the dial, what they call speed dial, but this time with audio. Out. Got a lot more show left for you today. We'll and lastly... Lastly is the presets. One could come across the dial, come to a station, they have a preset selected, and then lock into that particular preset. And there's your station. And the presets are set by these conical devices you see here. One back in the day had a tool to loosen this, and it would merely slide across this channel, and one would put that in any particular place that they wanted to have a preset set. And, uh, so uh, once again, three positions, fully out, speed dial, no stations, intermediate, speed dial with stations, and all the way in to your presets. And notice in the preset position, I cannot move this dial because this conical device, as you see here, pushes out and locks into those into those cones in the most inward third position. And the other part of this that is a little kind of confusing, and was for me at first too as well, is this, what is the purpose of this larger dial that's just free floating on the shaft? And its purpose is essentially a fine tuning knob. If one comes across to a station they want to listen to, Let's see if we could find a distant kind of a quiet one here. One could push this in, and just by mere friction against this corrugated ring, one could fine-tune that particular station. And not the most, uh, not, not the greatest design in the world, but that's, that's how it was designed to operate. And like I say, it's no wonder that this was discontinued as almost as quickly as it came out. Well, I hope that answers some questions, adds some clarity possibly. And, uh, you know, I, of course, I, I do appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all following. And, of course, as always, until next time.